world and Paralympic champion Sophie Kamli setting a new record of 12.90 this morning and Imgrad Benzizen, the world 400 meters champion from last night. Laura Sugar for Great Britain also. Elena Van Ganswinkel, silver here in the long jump, as was the case of the last World Championships in Doha. Seventh in the Rio final over 100 metres. Lane three for the United States, the Bostonian Famita Ayanbeku, sixth in the 200 in Rio. Well, here she is, the four-time world champion, three-time Paralympic champion, Malu Van Rijn. Equal time with Van Rijn for Yoshia Kane of Trinidad and Tobago this morning. Bronze in Rio and in Doha, the 100 for her. Lane six, the new world record holder. 12.90, big prospect here. Fourth in Rio, fifth in Doha for Great Britain, Sophie Kamlich. Winner of the 400 metres last night, formerly of South Africa, moved to Germany a few years ago. Imgard Ben Suzanne, her whole family's here. For Great Britain, silver in the 100 metres behind Ben Suzanne in the European final last year in Grisetto, Laura Sugar. And in lane nine for Canada, from Toronto with the Phoenix Track Club in Scarborough, Ontario. Home of the bare naked ladies, Marissa Papa Constantino went out in the opening round in the 100 and the 200 in Rio, eighth in the 100 in Doha. Lanes four and six, again, the ones to watch. Kamlish with that scintillating world record this morning. 20 years old, a Londoner in her hometown. Is this the night she gets crowned? The crown currently belonging to Marlu van Rijn. It's Van Ganswinkel, Ian Beku, Van Rijn, Kane, Kamlich, Ben Suzanne, Sugar, Papa Constantinou. The T44 women's 100 metres final. Oh, Ian Beku off to a flyer. It's a full start. It's Ian Beku of the United States in lane three. All set for a great race, and it still is, but we'll have to wait a moment. It's a pity. A good up-and-coming athlete she is. She was actually part of the Bolt All-Stars and the Nitro Athletics in Melbourne. She made a stadium back in February. I think she knows it's her. Spotable, in truth, with the naked eye. Adds to the tension, obviously. Means that Van Rijn will have nobody alongside her if the judges come up with the expected decision. Mita Ayanbeku out of lane three. She's not going to even wait for the red card. When you know, you know. Always a big pity when that happens in a major championship final. Her year has been all about tonight. And now she will be a spectator. What drama. So Van Rijn defending her title. She's won the last two 100 metres world crowns, the reigning Paralympic champion. But can Kamlish deny her? The final of the women's 100 metres. Now they're away, and it's a very good start by Kamlish. Van Rijn behind at this point. Kane going well for Trinidad and Tobago. It's Kamlish for Great Britain, and it's going to be Kamlish for Great Britain. She's done it. Kamlish wins, and Van Rijn is second, and Kane is third. The 
is a new queen of the 100 metres. And it's Sophie Kamlich in London. Marlou van Rijn is beaten in a major championship final over 100 metres for the first time since London 2012. Sophie Kamlich has done it. Silver for Marlou van Rijn. Bronze for Naoya Kane for the third major championship 100 metres in a row. Maybe it's because she's a Londoner. Sophie Kamlish, the new world champion. And she has done it with one of the fastest times ever. It's only 200s outside of a new world record. But Ryan with the silver, Kane with the bronze. But Kamlish with the second fastest time ever. With the fastest coming this morning, she's recorded them both. Now, Van Ryan, not usually a brilliant starter. Kane got off very well. What about Laura Sugar and Lane? Fantastically away. But this is where Cavendish comes into her own. Kane in second place at this point. And then Van Ryan in the second half always shoots away. But it's too much to do this time. Cavendish absolutely striding. Would not be denied this time. 12-9-2. Van Ryan in second. Kane in third. Ben Suzanne in fourth. And the mantle has crossed to GB. It certainly has, but she got away to a quick start. You know Melee Van Ryan, as you mentioned, is going to get away a bit slower. But what most athletes don't manage to do, which Camlish does, is she holds it well in that middle 50 metres. And then she has the momentum by that stage. Van Ryan just couldn't get there. You can tell with at least 30 metres to go that Camlish wasn't going to be caught. She got out to such a lead that Van Ryan just couldn't haul her in. The only person she could haul in was Kane. And she claims second place, Van Ryan, but she won't begrudge that lady there, Camlish, of winning the gold medal. She was outstanding, as she was earlier on with the gold and the world record earlier. Gold for Britain, their 11th, Sophie Camlish.